Good morning to you. Peace and blessings. I'm praying that your week will start off with momentum. I'm praying that you are looking for ways to impact others in a positive way. Uh, the greater, the, the, the greatest people that we can be are people who serve. Uh, every morning in my prayer, my spiritual mantra is for God to bless me with the gift that he has given me to serve others to his glory. And that is that is the, the foundation of the structure of my day. I want to reach out and serve as many people that I can to the glory of God, because I do believe that that is one of the tremendous gifts that God has given me. And that's the gift to serve. And so my challenge to you on today is to go out and while you're out, whatever you're doing, whoever you're talking to, uh, look for ways to serve them instead of being served, even if you're going to a restaurant. Be kind to uh, the, the, the servant or the waitress or waitor. Be kind to the people who are working their jobs. Say, man, nobody comes on your job. You don't want anybody coming on your job from the outside heckling you and giving you a hard time. Um, so, you know, whatever we're doing today, let's do it in the spirit of God and in the spirit of being good servants. I said that uh, just off the top of my head and from the depths of my heart. Uh, but today I want to go back to the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 29. I'm going to look at <clears throat> verses, I think, 13 through 15, maybe. You can read it on your own uh, for the sake of time. I'm not feeling my best on this morning. I, I solicit your prayers. Uh, I think I got a, a food hangover or something. I ate some things that I don't normally eat. Uh, yesterday, celebrating the Super Bowl. Uh, so, so, Sister Cusella, you know, I know you're celebrating on today because of one of your many teams won the Super Bowl. So congratulations to you and, and Sister Harrison on Facebook. We have a good time going back and forth with that. Uh, I do apologize, and, and I, I felt so bad yesterday when I got uh, on my way home from church. I normally check my calendars in the morning. Sister Linda, her birthday was on yesterday, Sister Linda Harrison. Uh, her birthday was yesterday, and I failed to wish her happy birthday and serenade her in song. So I do apologize uh, for that for that uh, mistake. But I pray that you had a happy birthday, and I'm praying that you have uh, a happy post-birthday on today, a belated birthday. And so happy birthday to Sister Linda. Here in the book of Jeremiah on uh, yesterday, we talked about being in bondage, but God still having favor you and favor over you in that bondage. And one of the scriptures that stuck out was God had let uh, the, the people of Judah know that they were going to be in exile for a long time. God had let the people of Judah know that, you know, you may as well go ahead and plant your gardens, have your families, build houses, because during this time of exile, you're going to be there for a while. But I also want you to seek the peace of the land. And so the peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E, of the land. Um, and, and it lets me know that even though whatever situation that you're in, and this is a great Monday motivational message, um, Danny Young, I think it was the one who said that Monday is one of the most hated days. Monday is the most dreaded day. It's a scientific fact, studied scientific fact, uh, that, that stress levels are higher on Monday. Situational de depression is higher on Mondays because a lot of people have to head out and do things uh, that they really don't want to do and need to do. And so if you're one of those, I'm praying for your strength in the Lord. And remember that what you're doing, you know, it's not necessarily a punishment. But like I said, we make decisions years ago that, uh, you know, we, we're living through now. Some of us have made uh, not so great decisions years ago. And that is fine. Just start making great decisions now. The best time, I said it uh, a while back, the best time to do something may have been 20, 30 years ago, but the second best time to do it is right now. And so what I want to talk about this morning is setting yourself up for the future. If you're not pleased at where you are from the decisions, from the decisions you made five or 10 years ago, then start doing things differently now that if God allows us to see it, the next five or 10 years will be different. You can start working on that, changing that right now. You can change uh, the traje trajectory of your life right now. We spoke on that yesterday. But the thing that I want to point out that's going to help you 
along the way, even during your worst days, is uh, Jeremiah chapter number 25. And I'll read to you 13, 14, and 15. It says, and you seek me, this is God speaking to the, uh, the children in Judah, and you shall seek me. Hold on, I think I wanna go back to 12. Then shall you call upon me, and you shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. This is when he tells them that, that, that he knows the thoughts that he have towards them, and they are thoughts of peace and not of evil. And so now that you know that God's thoughts are not for you to always be in captive. His thoughts are not for you always to be in the situation that you're in, but there will be an end to the suffering. There will be an end to the bondage. There will be an end to the captivity. But in the meantime, he says, well, after, after you know that he has peace for you, his, his thoughts are peace and out of evil to give you an expected end, we have something to look forward to. He says, then shall you call upon me and you shall go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and ye shall seek me and find me. And when you shall search for me with all of your heart, you're gonna seek God and find God right there where you are when you search for him with all of your heart. So what does that mean? That, that, that means you can't be halfway, you can't be halfway in seeking God and then halfway uh, being a victim of your environment, being a victim of your situation, being a victim of your circumstances. Seek God with your whole heart. God knows what's going on he knows what you're into he knows what you are wanting to come out of he knows the 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 upward i'll use the word again the upward tra uh, trajectory he knows all these things god knows your heart amen and he says so um you you you're where you are for a reason you're where you are for a reason you're not just things are not just haphazardly happening you're there for a reason be intentional about seeking God in your situation because he already knows what the future is going to be. Verse 14, and I will be found of you, saith the Lord, and I will turn away your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord, saith the Lord, and I will bring you again unto the place whence I cause you to be carried away from. And that is a place of freedom. You are in bondage right now because of uh, the actions. You are in bondage right now because of the results that you made a while back. God had to uh, punish Judah because of generations of rebellion, generations of rebellion. It wasn't just one or two mistakes, but it was uh, years and years and years of rebelling against God and God finally said enough is enough I'm going to have to do something to reprogram uh, the people in Judah and Jerusalem I'm going to have to do something to to cause them to think differently because they're now you know after generations and generations now you have become comfortable in your rebellion and I may be talking to someone uh, today with, with you know that's going through the same thing. You you got so so you got so comfortable in your rebellion that now God had to call something to happen. God had to allow something to happen uh, to get your mind back on Him to get to get you to start obeying Him again. God had God had to allow something to happen to get you back in church again. God had to allow something to happen to 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 get you to tuning in. Uh, to these uh, uh, devotionals twice a week. He had to allow something to happen uh, for you to get your marriage together. He had to allow something to happen uh, for you to start taking care uh, of your health. Amen. Th these little scary moments for us, but thank God that, uh, you know, he didn't tell us that it was going to be for 70 years. Um, you know, I've been carrying this disease that I have because of poor choices and in, in, in eating and, and health. Uh, related issues, uh, you know, I've, I've I've had it for 20 years. I may I may carry it to a grave. He may heal me tomorrow, but the fact of the matter is, during what I'm going through, I'm seeking God with my whole heart. And the good part about it is that He said that 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 if I seek Him with my whole heart, that He would hearken unto me. He will be with me, and He is going to deliver me one way or the other. He is going to deliver me back into the place where. He caused me to be by, uh, back before the place I was before 
uh, the bondage. He promised the, ch uh, the children in Judah and Jerusalem that he was going to bring them out of exile after 70 years. He was going to bring them out of exile and put them back in the place that they were before bondage. But you see this time when they go back uh, to Judah, when they go back to Jerusalem, prayerfully, they had a, a change of heart. They had a change of mind. They wanted to be different people. They wanted to be better people because they know what they have just gone through. And that's where I want to leave you on today. You have to realize where God brought you out of, what God, you, what God brought you out of before you can appreciate where you're going. Amen. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't ponder on the past. You don't feast on the past. You don't remember the past as a means to hold you down or to hold you back because of what had happened. But you remember the past to propel you into a, a future with a changed heart, changed mind, and, and more appreciation for God. Why would God put you in a better place? Why would God put you in a better situation with the same mindset that, that, that got you into bondage? All it's going to do is get you back into bondage. So you have to release yourself from the, from the past pains, you have to release yourself from those bondage situations that you were in. Release yourself mentally. You have to tell yourself that, that God has delivered and that I am free. Today is the day. And here's where I'm closing on, on, on this Monday, Motivational Monday. Today, somebody say today with me because this is right now. Remember the series that I'm going back to prayerfully next week. Now, faith. That means right now, right here, right now, this is a, a time sensitive matter because it has to start today. Today is the day that you change the game. Today is the day that you change your trajectory. Today is the day that, that God wants you to step out of Babylon. You put yourself in there because of decision choices you made. It may be uh, six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months before you really realize what's going on. But if you get that, you, you concentrate on being that at least 1% better today than I was yesterday. And then in three months, you'll be able to see a change. You, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see a change in your attitude, a change in your outlook, a change in your expectations and anticipations. So declare that to yourself. Today is the day that I'm changing everything for the better. Today is the day that I'm pouring more into the positivity of my life. Today is the day that I'm conditioning my mind to seek God first, conditioning my mind that, that, that I'm expecting great things to happen to me. Done is the past. Um, you know, that the, uh, I'm, I'm breaking out of the jails and the prisons of my past that had me bound. I'm coming out of this Babylonian type situation of captivity. God has set me free. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. So go make the changes and experience the goodness of God. Father, thank you for today's Motivational Monday. Um, motivational uh, Monday devotional. Heavenly Father, I pray for your strength. I pray that you will help keep and bless your people during this time. And we know, Lord God, that we cannot fail without you. So we thank you in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Don't forget, Fat Tuesdays is tomorrow. Lent season starts on Wednesday. Sacrifice something that you love for the one who loves you most. Peace and blessings, and God's will. We'll see you on Thursday.